have to say, when they originally came up with the whole Robo May, yeah. my original thought was that I can't believe they always are replacing May. She's always getting duplicated. It's, and I was actually a little angry about that. No, yeah. But yeah. by the time we were done, I was cheering for Robo May, and I wanted, I was really upset she died. It's Thank amazing you. that you, you made a distinction, such a big distinction between those characters, Thank that you. I really felt something. So that means you, a lot to me. Thank you for saying. How that. do you feel about playing all the different versions of May that you play? Because now you're framework May versus regular May versus. Well, Robo it May certainly versus. makes for as an actor, it's a lot more fun. You know, it's really challenging, and and you get to play a different version of the same character. You know, and after four years. It's great to be able to tackle something that's just even the slightest change, you know. And when you have to keep it so subtle, it's that's the that's the biggest challenge, you know. Because May is never that emotional. She doesn't um, say a lot. So making the making a Robo May or what do I call a May bot, where. She is almost, it's almost a rebirth of a, of a character or a human being because when she discovers that she is an LMD, her whole world spins. And that's something that Agent May doesn't have to deal with. You know, Agent May is very sure who she is. So for me, when that happened, that was the biggest change for Maybot, is that she has now to decipher and process things completely differently. And later on, you, you find that she is actually much more emotional and much more vulnerable than because she doesn't have all the tools anymore to protect herself and shield herself and not uh, shield herself. <laughs> Pun intended. You know, she can't put up the walls. All the walls came down for um, Robo May. Did, did you do anything different with the performance? Any subtleties when you were playing Robo May before she found out she was a robot? Uh, yeah, well, before she found out, I mean, she was still just May. Except for some of the programming, you know, that Radcliffe would put in her. But once, um, and and all we did was change the the, the side part. <laughs> if you will notice that those those are the little changes for me to kind of keep the distinction between each character. Is um, like, and then Hydra May, you'll see she has straight hair, completely straight hair. So the, it's just those little subtle visuals that I think helps to distinguish each character for me. You know that that's the fun part about um, creating a new May, basically. Yeah. I'm sad to hear that was actually devastating. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> It's interesting because the confusion for, me, for all of us was in the framework. Is it like a dream? You know, like when you have a dream and you wake up from it, so a lot of times you don't remember what the dream is and you just go about your life. But apparently with the framework, it you remember everything, I believe. I'm not sure, but you, you know, I think there will be some definite changes. You know, I just don't know which direction it will be. The, the whole almost romance in the library broke my heart because I was very happy that Colson and May were together. Yes. And then, but you, you were like, yeah. It was oh. like giving the Felinda fans something. And then just ripping it away. And then ripping it away. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want that to go? That's my question. I don't know. You know, I I, I grew up as a fan of like Cheers and Moonlighting, and and there's something great about maintaining the tension of of a potential romance without ever fully fulfilling it. I don't know. No. Yeah. I'm, okay. Well, we, I can't we got, convince we got you. Fitz Simmons. We got Fitz Simmons. We you do. You do. So you do. we could. Still but for me, like once, like like with Moonlighting, once they got together, it was like, okay, now what? No, no. Okay. All right. What <laughs> happen? I can't. I can't convince you, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's great that 
you know, our writers really listened to the fans and gave them a little something, a little nugget without uh, without really destroying still the remainder of that potential.